Yeah, this your boy Tootie, the Southern President. You're not tuned in to the rap analytics show, you know what I mean? Let's get it. This is the rap analytics show, and I'm putting rap in the figure four. If you ain't on this on the internet, then tell me what else is you looking for? Presidential worthy giving insight. You don't need no keeping shit tight. Either gave you an invite, and Cooley be talking on big mics. You in the right place for your mind. You in the right place for your grind. You in the right place for your music. You in the right place for your time. Cause I ain't never gonna waste mine. And since we got you tuned in, now it's time to start the show. And the real shit begins the end. Yeah. Man, y'all already know what time it Yo. is, man. We back, we back, we back. It's another Friday, man. Rap analytics, we in the building. You know, somebody's the favorite campaign president to work. They please put their vote in for me. You already know what time it is, man. Cooley, how let them? Hey, man, put the vote in for my boy, man. man come on. Know, hey, it's election year, man. Vote for yeah, something. Vote for somebody. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. It's Cooley D. Uh-huh. Mr. March 4th. If you don't, don't know, know who it is, you're about, about to find, to find out. out. You feel yeah. me, man? Happy Friday to everybody. Blessings. We got something to really talk about, man. We got a good artist, man. You know, Yo. versatile and many diverse ventures, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into it. Who we got in the yeah, building? Hold on, yeah. before we get into oh, that, man, ahead, hold on, before we get into that, man, I just got to say, man, shout out to Ether, Ether in the building, what up, E? Yeah. Yep, E in the yeah. building, you know what I'm talking about? And shout out to Young Nino, you know what I'm talking about? Our other partners of the show. Yeah, but like yeah. you said, let's get into it, man. King Savage, good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Working, it's moving around. I've, I've been trying to make all it through the city too, yeah, man. I've been making a habit, making a habit. I want to want to work all for shit. I don't want to stop for now. I know that's right, man. So, so what, what's been twenty twenty four like for you, man? We gonna get we gonna start there. Uh, twenty twenty four started off rather interesting. Uh, okay. I I was dealing with you know dealing with a little situation. I ain't gonna do, say too much, right? Me, but right. It inspired me to it inspired me to make a different type of music. So I got into a more so romantic duffel. Okay. Know, more so romantic duffy. You gonna do something like Hunto, like the for her? You know how Hunto did the Nah fuck for- all that. <laughs> <laughs> nah fuck all that. Yeah. I really I I just released the E P okay. called uh, NASCAR Love. It's on YouTube only though. It's, okay. Yeah, it's four songs and a dope ass dope ass intro. I use AI for the intro. Uh oh. Tell like the story is like you know, it's like uh, telling me and talking about me and the girl and it talks about uh like just basically how it is, treating that shit like a race like you know what I'm saying so one of the bars in there says uh savvy's in it for the smooth scenic route and she's in it for the rush mm. you know what I'm saying? and it says uh at the end it took a bar from mine and kept it in there it said uh in the end there's no winner in, like there's no winner in these races right shit. it's uh all that matters is that love prevails right you know? so yeah that that's was, deep that's deep yeah, man Okay, so NASCAR Love. NASCAR Love. Out yeah. right now. Yes, indeed. So um, give us a little bit more about the project, man. What, what, so what, how we come up with that? that I mean, I'm guessing that's what you came up with from that quote? It was it was from the song, really. Okay. I made the song first. And I right. Was, like, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to call the project. And, I, you know, I've been holding on music for a long time. So right. I wanted to, when I put it out there, I wanted it to be, you know what I'm saying, be nice and be respected. I wanted people to be able to look at it and see a story. In it. Gotcha. Which... I should have put it out a long time ago, but I was just holding on to shit. Uh, one, so on the song, on the project, I got "Here's My Heart." That's the song, the first song I dropped this year. Okay. Uh, Valentine's Day, I dropped "Here's My Heart." Here's my heart. Uh, everybody love "Here's My Heart" so far. How you spell it? Is it "Here's My Heart"? H E R E or is it H E A R? No, no, no. H E R E. Like it was like handing it over. Here's my heart. Yeah, it's like one of the bars. Is like here's my heart right on the platter. Okay. Um, I, hold on. I said, uh, damn, damn. I said, girl, I like, girl, I like you for who you are. Deep inside, I see through your scars. Can you see through mine, or is it too hard? Try to fill them in to keep from falling apart. But here's my heart. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying That's some smooth poetic type. Okay, shit. I feel you, yeah. man. So, so we, so we took this one. We took more of a romantic route yeah. with this one. Uh, yeah. This project. Well, I watch it, but I said, well, you can like Jody in there. <laughs> <laughs> Not Jody. <laughs> this ain't crazy. Uh, <laughs> that ain't crazy. Speaking of it though, bro, you talking about more about like relationship and more of emotions. I also want you to dive in more into the AI. AI. Okay. Yeah, yeah. what made you want to do that? Uh, shit, man, I was trying to, I realized it needed an intro. So you just said, AI it out? Yeah, I wanted to see if, how, how far the shit would go like, in telling the story. Really, I wanted to, uh, I was thinking more so like on a broad scale in terms of like visuals. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So with the AI, if it's like doing a narration, then it's able to, to it's able to like really like tell the story while I act it out. Mm. And then I could throw the song in there and keep it going and flowing, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has a better idea of right. watching instead of me just putting it in. Yeah. Well, that's more like the move right now. A lot of people with technology, they're using the AI yeah. tech, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk, you can mm-hmm. use it, make pictures. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared of it, yeah. me personally, but sure. I, know the, I know that's that's new yeah. way, you feel me? But how how will you really uh, incorporate that with more of the music? You gotta learn how to utilize that shit. Shit, it's changing. Yeah, the times is changing. The world's changing. I figure out how to, you know, how to make it work for you. Sometimes I'm a caveman, though. You know what I mean, sometimes I like sticking to the original. You know what I'm saying the original shit. I don't even want to say caveman. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you But yeah, But my question is this, though, right? So um, with the whole using the AI, how you feel about it? How, of course, I mean, you put it on your project, so yeah. of course you feel good. But like, what are your in a more detail of a feel of actually saying, I have, I use this AI, put it on my track. This is how I feel about the outcome of it. Should I? Well, I think it, I think it worked out pretty well. When I, so I you, so you fucking with it? Yeah, I, okay. I liked it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was nice to hear some shit that I typed out. Like you know, they they put it in their own words. Right. But it was nice to hear it. Like I'm just listening to it like it was an audio book. I kept listening to it over and over mm. again because it was just it dialed me in. It made me want to really like put the project in a certain manner. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had made that before I even had the track list, like how I, how I was gonna set it up. I didn't even figure that out till I was posting this shit. To be honest, mm. <laughs> what what are the strange views? Uh, I don't even remember, bro. Not even gonna lie. I was just testing it out. Man, so he gonna give up his secret, bro? I, I, trying to get out the secret. I can tell y'all off nah. the camera. I look nah, it up. Nah, just fuck with uh, but shit, that project's interesting, bro. It got a phone recorded audio on there. Oh Uh-oh. shit, that shit sound cool. Like people told me it don't even sound like it's off the phone. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, it sound like because I've been, been recording. Uh, it's, it's just a bonus track. I called it bonus track off the phone. Okay. And it was like, um, shit, I recorded it months ago. It was just like we took it further than we should. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I, I like recording all my shit on my phone before I before I go and record. I want to listen to it first. It's, a, it's like a rough draft of a paper. Right. I mean, you just, you Brainstorm. To, yeah, you get to listen to it all the way out. You get to see, like, okay, I can add an ad lib here. I can do this here. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically like I went to the studio before I went to the studio. Right. I, I don't Free like, game. I don't like Free being, game before the studio. Yeah, I don't like being unprepared. Niggas go in there and waste money. I ain't got time to waste money. Speaking of that, man, one of the questions we asked on the show, man, what do, what do you need in the studio for your studio session to, to, put, to make that masterpiece and make them hit records? I remember how I answered this. I said, I need me, that's it. Okay. That's that's it. I can work okay. everywhere, bro. Like I, I got bars I said all I need is a uh, all I need is a pen and you know what I'm saying? I don't even need a pen for real. I just need my phone and headphones and I'm scared for whatever. Okay. Yeah, for so so you don't you don't need the strippers. You don't need the weed, the, the alcohol, I've never recorded the homies. High. What? I've never recorded Not high. Say it one more time. Yeah, I've, I've, never, I've never recorded higher drunk. I've never performed higher drunk. I don't play around with this shit. I really like, I take it all the way seriously. Dedicated. Well, yeah, I'm trying yeah, to nah. tell you, that's another level of dedication right there, yeah, man. For sure, because I, I think too much. Mm. See, that I shows, need to, that shows the maturity and the growth. Because I mean, last time we talked to you, you said you've been doing since 2019. Yeah, that's when I recorded. 2018, I released my first single, yeah. So speak about the ebbs and flows, man, because you're basically doing things. You're an artist, and you're a real science man, you're an entrepreneur at the same time. Yeah. You're doing competitions around the city. Yeah. I'm getting speak tired of that shit. I'm getting, tired of, I'm getting tired of the competitions. Uh, like, I, when I 
first you think it's started, down or? Nah, nah, nah. It's like when I first started, it was on some like, you know, when I first started doing music and I had my first show, it was like a real concert. You know what I'm saying? People were just showing to hear me, they were showing up for me, where it was like competition, they showed up to compare me to other shit. And even if you showed up with somebody else and you appreciate the shit, you gotta scream louder for them because that's what you came for, you feel me? But like you gotta you gotta be biased as soon as my shit come on. So I feel like people ain't even necessarily tapping in all the way, but they still can listen and appreciate it. They just can't show me how much they love it. You right. know what I'm saying? I, but I get a lot of love every time I perform. Like everywhere. All over. Like I, I didn't perform like shoot. I'm not from Georgia, bro, but every time I perform, motherfuckers is like, damn, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? You're right. like, crazy, you know? So that's Even that, where are you from? I'm from, from Denver, Colorado, bro. Denver, man. Denver is, yeah. I still want to go out there, man. It's one of my bucket lists to go out there. Denver. Snow buddies. Okay. Nah, I'm here. You know what's crazy? <laughs> like? That's my ex. This man, man, like. People be thinking about Colorado and they think about like snow. Yeah, they think about snow. They th- but like I really, think they, about think mountains. We, they think we ski and shit like that. I, and I we, hardly, that's why I think yeah, that's facts. That shit is fucking up the game. That weed shit fucking up the game. It's, it's raising up the prices out there. You know what I'm saying? So many people wanted to move there. I, was, I remember like just watching traffic change as a young man. Like I just see, you just see it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I remember before. I like, wish I could say about that, but it's always been busy. <laughs> No, I mean back in the day, bro, like that's how I lived was like in the early, early 90s. Yeah. Traffic wasn't like it is now. Yeah. Well, it ain't like it is now, but it was still traffic, bro. Now, I don't now you stuck. Now it's you best like, you talking about early 90s, best like doing free meet times. He's tripping. Traffic's crazy here. Yeah, it's it's free I'm talking about on the, on the day, but on time you had traffic was after work. Yeah. The weekends, it was clear. Saturday, Sunday, you ride. It's now, bro. Yeah. It's every you day. You stuck, bro, at 12 day. o'clock type shit. So I, I understand y'all, what I'm different. Y'all not from Colorado, but like. Every like there's this place, so it's Denver, right? And then you can drive to Colorado Springs, Colorado that would take like forty five minutes maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like forty five to an hour. So like every time I'm going somewhere here, it feels like I'm going, you know what I'm saying? And that right. shit's a travel, dude. Like that Colorado Springs in the mountains type shit. Right. Yeah, like we right on a road trip going somewhere every time I'm trying to move around here at the wrong time. Is the is the music scene popping in Denver like that now? It's, it's picking up. It's picking up. We got this dude, uh, got this dude named Trev Rich. He was actually on Madden 23. We got a okay. song called, uh, fuck, what's that shit? I can't remember the song right now, but, um. Shout out Trev Rich, though, but yeah, he's doing Trev good things. He's doing his shit. Uh, he didn't perform at the, at Ball Arena for the Nuggets. Uh, got this other dude named AP, like, they call him AP. That's his, that's his shit. Uh, he called too. Uh, got an OG in the game, man, Young Drill, oh, no, Young Doe. Young Doe, he doing, he doing his shit. He been traveling back and forth from Cali, to, you know, down to Cali for years. But really, he's got him, Interstate Ike, uh, shit, they got a whole, they got a whole, you know what I'm saying, random motherfuckers up. But yeah, it's a lot of shit going on down there. I can't, I can't forget though, it's like niggas from my hood too. People I grew up around, they doing their shit. Got uh, this dude named Hit of Braves. I, it's a lot of it's a lot of gang culture out there for real. This dude in Northside Meets, I shot it out and it was and my song was good. Uh, shit, so I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask you a real question. Do you feel do you feel like somebody put car oh, on his back yet, or, 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 or that's or that's what you or that's what your goal? Like, we ain't really broke the barrier yet. So you don't really feel like I'm on the map yet. Nobody nobody nah. took that time to put it on the map. Like you know when Nelly hit, that's when. When St. Louis got put on the map we, yeah. and stuff like that, not to say that they, these these places they have stuff popping off, but it's like certain places like when the Bridge Boy hit from Alabama, then yeah. people start looking at the David Banner from Mississippi and yeah, stuff nah, like we that. Ain't, we ain't really popped off just yet. Uh, we we moving towards it. It's all about consistency. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. We, we got artists like a lot of the artists I just named. They getting respect from multiple states. You know what I'm saying? So that's you know that's a big deal right now. We, all right. But like, as far as somebody actually putting us like, you know, up there to where it's like globally respected or like where they want to come and find the next big talent there, I wouldn't necessarily say we did that just yet. Uh, we got we got A and R. Uh, there's this dude that just not A and R, but um, this dude just got signed not too long ago. Named uh, L Keys. Yeah, he got signed. He, he pretty cool too. He used to uh, hang out with my cousin. That inspired me to start making music. Like, so I start taking it serious for real. Um, yeah, another nigga just got signed by Jim Jones. 
you know there's a lot like yeah, there's a lot of shit going on out there. It's like it's it's big opportunities on the rise. Gotcha. It's just it's like it's gonna be a funny comparison to fuck it. It's like, you know, the WNBA keep getting better and better every right. year, you know what I'm saying? They started late. It's kinda like how the NBA at first it wasn't all that. Mm -hmm. Just keep getting better and better and better and better. So More it's a challenge, slow, yeah, yeah, you know, it's a slow grind. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it, we're making it happen. We're really trying to establish our own sound right now. I think I think that's the big deal. I feel like when it comes to now, I'm getting to myself. When it comes to having like the sound of a Colorado artist, I don't think we necessarily have our sound. But I think when it comes to like being somebody that is, that is an epitome of what the music scene is in Colorado, how we got so we just a melting pot from everywhere. I feel like I make that music, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is me that, you know, I'm one of them people that's really versatile that can tap into all these different versions of, of music, all these different crafts, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm glad I, you brought that up, bro, because yeah. I was going to ask you about the Denver, the Colorado culture and uh, where do you see it now? Because you say it's not where it should be. No. Would you would you collab more with Colorado artists, or would you want to do like if they fuck with me? A lot of men don't be fucking with me like that. You think it's like competition, <laughs> or is it? It could be. I don't know. I mean, shit. Yeah, when I, 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 yeah you feel me? Look, when I went out there, I, that was in like October 2022. I went out there for a competition and I won. Niggas was all cool. They was dapping me up before I won, but afterwards they wasn't really fucking with me like that. And then. You know what I'm saying? I didn't hit up certain people to make music. They act like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. I, I ain't tripping, no. Anybody that want to work with me, they can work with me. Anybody that don't, fuck it. Uh, right now, I'm in this mode where ain't shit about to get in my way. And if it do, God gonna get me through it. And I'm gonna be everywhere I'm supposed to be and know that I'm not. You feel me? So. just some fake consistency. That's gonna get you somewhere always. Yeah. 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 I just gonna tell you, my, speaking on that, man, speaking on the growth, because the, the maturation, it shows. Yeah. yeah. Just with seeing your performances and your, your style is different. Uh, so, elaborate on that. Let, let the folks know, man, what, what's different about that, my King Sonic? You know? <laughs> uh, what's different? Um, I went through a lot of different phases with the shit. Like, you know, when you're not getting the respect that you feel like you deserve, it can make you fall back or it can make you turn into a whole other person in terms of, like, the music you make, you know. So I feel like I went through a phase where I was really just, I'm still, like, making my music, of course, but I, I started trying to, like, tailor it to the crowd a little bit more just so I could get a little attention type shit. I ain't really like, I ain't really like that like that, but um, there's a song called Root Boy. That when, it, when I that was like my first single I released after taking like two years off. It's like 2020 some shit. Like you know I was just I was in a dark place 2020. So I released a project called Pain for Progress, and I got Nick Klaus on it. You know, we, yeah, we just came to see me perform that shit. Yeah, you know. Nick Klaus, they're out. Yeah. They're yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, it's out. It came out. Y'all need to tap into Nick Klaus, bro. That shit going hard, bro. That whole Pain for Progress, that whole Pain for Progress project is fire. Top to bottom. Yeah, I'm about to go tap into it. Y'all yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that was that was like a dark part of me, you feel me? So I ain't really wanna like keep on making that same type of music. I ain't wanna keep on tapping into those emotions that was right. having me fucked up all the time. Like damn. Yeah. I ain't wanna keep on being like, oh, look at where I came from. Look at this, like look at that. I wanna be like shit, where, look where we going. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I start changing up a little bit. Not, but there was this. There's a song called "Root Boy." I feel like it was it was doing good, but I didn't necessarily see it. Like I got on TikTok and I seen motherfuckers was making videos to it and shit, but I didn't. I, I didn't see it because I wasn't even on TikTok like that, so Damn. I wasn't even paying attention. I could have built off of that and you know what I'm saying, took off a little bit more. Uh, nah, facts. It's not. It's not. It's all about promo. You know right. what I'm saying? But it's, it got a sound where it was like for the time. I'm saying like hey. I feel like music is like progressed a little bit since I released that in terms of like gotcha. just a certain like. So it was one thing you did with the time slot thing. Yeah, yeah, it felt like it for sure. Matter of fact, speaking of this, I, it's random, it's random. Yeah. Um, so I've been thinking about this thing lately, right? So um, classics, right? Mm -hmm. Classic versus what's hot at the time. Yeah. Right. I think a lot of people like a lot of music. In certain times, it's just hot at the time. But then when you look at it years later, you be like, what the fuck? 
Like, so I was, I was talking to somebody about the MC Hammer track, you know, uh, <laughs> Too Legit to Quit, yeah. and, and uh, stuff like that, and uh, uh, Can't Touch This. It's still making nigga rock. You know what <laughs> yeah, I'm saying? Y'all are tripping. Y'all are tripping. Y'all are tripping. So to me, like I was telling them, I was like, to me, Hammer was, he, he wasn't a classic person. He was just a person that was good at his time. That's how I felt. And, I, and, I, and I'm just, I'm just I'm speaking on my part of it. I just feel like it was, he was good at his time. And I thought about that based on what you just said about your um, their, their song. Yeah. But I, I feel like I, I don't I never pulled up on anybody, and they was like, "Yo, boy, I'm about to put on that. Can't touch this." Nah, like, but and, if it come on, <laughs> motherfuckers gonna move. So that right, but that's what. But see, that's what I said. But, but see, that's why, and that's how me and that person started the debate on it, right? Because because the debate in, uh, happened like, all right, then what do you consider a classic? Right, because so, because in order for you to say something a classic, you gotta have some type of standards to make it a classic, right? So to me, there's things that are hot at the time that you can use later on that's gonna make you be like, oh yeah, I remember back then. But to me, to what makes something a classic is if you were personally put this shit on years later, even if you were just riding in a car, you're not gonna be like, I'm about throwing that hammer today. Type ain't nobody, ain't nobody finna do that. Nah. But it was hot at the, it was hot enough at the time that even when somebody, like you just said, somebody throw it on, you be like, oh damn, yeah, I remember that joint. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. But you, it ain't something that you'd be like, shit, today, boy, I just feel like listening to a hammer. Yes, like, so that's why, I, that's why I say that's what made to me that's what made <laughs> the difference between what's a classic and what was hot at the time. I hear you so even like, like um, Ice Ice Baby. Ain't nobody about to throw that shit on today. But if you do hear it, but if you do hear it, you might bob to it because you remember it's going to take you back yeah. to there that shit was. But, but, okay, I got you. So, what really, I see what you're saying, right? Right. But if it can be respected nationally, if it's played on a national platform, I feel like that makes it a classic because it's been so long since it came out, right? Right. But if you turn it on, you're going to have more people do it, like that's rapping that shit or like dancing along to that. And you will a lot of shit that's re- being released today, right? So release to me, today. and I, that, that was a debate too. And to me, that make my bad. That makes sense, right? If we put it on just a scale of classic and what was hot at the time, because there's plenty of music that's been put out, and yeah. some of them don't fit neither one of those categories. Yeah. You know what I mean, some some of them, even if you throw it on, somebody be like, "Boy, turn that shit the fuck off." Yeah. Like, ain't nobody finna listen to Millie Vanilli. I don't give a fuck what the fuck. Where you at? Somebody ain't nobody like, oh shit, that Millie Vanilli's on. No, so but like I said, it was. But at the time, but we still know them people. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, we still know who they is. Cause they they made it to a level of knowing who they is. Yeah. But like I said, that's that's a whole nother level of stuff. Yeah. But just, like I said, that's why I said I feel like it should be a divine. It should be something that splits. I got you. I feel like a lot of shit seemed like classics because it wasn't as easily accessible as like a lot of music is today whereas it, right. you know there's a lot of motherfucking there's a lot of good music dropping today but people ain't going oh everybody going to be like oh that's a classic cuz they were right. like, everybody ain't listening to the same shit no more exactly you know, people had people didn't really have a choice to, but to listen to certain songs that was getting exactly thrown whatever to them on whatever the radio, the radio yeah, was like shit we got, we got a vibe to it so so the the record labels make hits sometimes you know what yep. I'm saying that's, but he ain't no one hit one so. <laughs> and you, I, I, right before you say that though, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make it real quick. What made it funny about what you just said is true, because literally in the can't test this video when it starts, mm-hmm. it starts off with him saying, "Hey, I just won a, a, a album of the year yeah. and artist of the year award," yeah. and then he went into this whole video how he can't I test should, this. Yeah. So clearly, before that song, you already was making because you got an album of the year. In order for you to put that in a track that you got an album of the year, yeah. that album had already be out. You see what I'm saying? So, I so I definitely agree with you on that one, Pastor. My bad. Go ahead. Uh, I was random the club, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it goes sure. to what I was going to ask you too, though, because we uh, were talking about some of the music, uh, some of the music that you put out there already, and then we talked about basically uh, some of the classics that you like that you already you already put out. Yeah. And you said you don't like to be in that time frame, that mental space. Where it's like you speak from the heart, you speak from pain, but you want to get away from that. So I didn't let, like. Let, it. let me ask you this though: I Do you think you should really, as an artist, because I guess it gotta go to Do you think you should balance it out? Like, should I basically go from pain, let me, let me go from what I'm going through, or let me go to what's hot, let me transition to what's hot, or what's like bouncing right now? Uh, I, 
I'm mixing in a lot of shit. I'm mixing okay. in a lot of shit. I feel like my, uh, you know, I, I'm trying. I'm still keeping my sound. I want to remain me at all times. You know, so I like I want when people hit when people when they come on, I want people to be like, oh, that's King Shadow. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like that's you know what I'm saying? That's him. Like even like from hooks to verses, I want people to be like, oh, that's him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really, uh, I don't really like making. You know, making music that's stuck in one time because it got to it got to be something that you can listen to all the time. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of the classic, I don't necessarily uh, to my fans it would be certain songs like uh, "Who Am I?" Like you know, it was like my first music video. You know what I'm saying? Like people that actually rock with me, that would, that's what they would say. You know what I'm saying? But further down the line, I don't know which one's gonna be a classic just yet. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just just, yeah, I'm just working and you know making things, making sure things is feeling right for me. Um, in terms of, in terms of mixing in shit that sounds like everybody else, that's not necessarily my thing. I do it on like, if I'm doing a feature, and I'm working with somebody that like I feel like you know they aren't necessarily, not aren't able but aren't willing to try this shit that I got going on. Then I you know what I'm saying I maneuver a little bit for them. But I'm still gonna stay me at the same time. Uh, and talk, uh, so yeah, yeah, that's really. That's really <laughs> yeah, I was talking about artistry. So I, what, brought, what brought that question to mind was Pop. Mm-hmm. Pop was one of those guys. Basically, he, most of his music was more from what he's feeling. It's kind of like um, oh uh, yeah, my bad. Let me speak on that. Let me speak. Yeah. So I, I'm not. Um, I'm not that. Like I'm not opposed to making music from the heart. Like that's that's the shit I want to get back to. That's really what I what I start working on for real. That's why when I when I came back with this romantic shit, like you know what I'm hey. it was on some like, let me speak on how I'm feeling. Now I wanted to tell I wanted to tell stories because that's like a almost lost art in terms of like in terms of a romantic feel. Like niggas tell stories, but they telling like drill stories, like they telling shit like you know what I'm saying. Even even like uh like you know like niggas like Easy back in the day and all they they telling stories with violence. I'm telling stories with like. I want to tell stories of love and shit. I want to create a whole, whole image. Right now, I'm working on some shit. I got this song called "Woman from Peru." I'm like, I'm gonna make a whole movie off that, that shit. shit. Right. Bro, 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 bro. Yeah. Hey, bro, let me be in that. Let me be in that, bro. I'm I can tell you. That. I can tell you where it came from too. I had a dream, right? And I had, like, I had this, it was a few years back. I had went to sleep. I had a dream, and it was just, it, it, there was this woman, bro, and I don't know. I don't know where, like, you know what I'm saying, where it came from. It just, it just was there. And when I got up, I start, I found the beat. It worked perfect. It's a Sade, a Sade sample. You feel me? So I, I was like, you know, I, I gotta show y'all that shit off the camera, man. Yeah, that, 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 that produced me everything, me, man. okay? And I just was, um, I just was just glued to it. I just, I was rapping it around the house for weeks. I still listen to it. That, that's that shit you turn on. You just feel like the boss. Like, you throw on a suit, you know what I'm saying? You walk in and can't nobody say shit to you. Like, mm. you, you run this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's one from Peru, really, that shit, man. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. so, right now, man, we got, we near the ending of 2024. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I know you said you dropped, dropped the project on uh, NASCAR Love. I right? got another one coming this summer. If I can get to you. So you got any more projects we're going to release for the end of the year? So, yeah. Uh, that's yeah, now we got a name for it. We got how many tracks we got going on. What's the idea for the project? Uh, what we got going? It's gonna be in a similar fashion as this NASCAR level. Uh, it's gonna be another like EP. I mean, I, I'm taking all the songs I recorded from a while back and I'm putting them out now. I want to, you know, so I want to get them to the world. I'm tired of sitting on them and listening to them. Okay. By myself. So you already got the tracks and everything for yeah, it. Yeah, you just, for sure. You're just putting it together now. Yeah, I was going to do a full project with them, but I, I changed my mind because when I do it like this, it allows me to focus on, you know what I'm saying, pushing these and, like, you, you know, you don't get to push certain songs at right. a time. You, get to, you always keep a respect for everything that you, like, all your art. I, I was, when I first started, I was putting out just full projects. When you when you're an artist who's up and coming, it's hard to get people to really listen to all your shit. So I feel like there was a lot of songs didn't get the love and the respect that they deserve because people weren't necessarily listening all the way through. They listened to a couple songs like, oh yeah, you are, you know, so you smooth. But they weren't necessarily listening to the whole thing. And 
for the for smaller pockets, it's easier for them to fuck with it all the way through. King is having the building, man. I got a crazy ass question to ask you though. Uh oh, some more random shit. Here we go. Uh -oh. I'm with it. Have you it. ever made an album about a chick and had a chick in the studio with you at the same time? Nah, yeah. that's not that's not how it, like that's not even I the you reason. Were doing some shit, nah, that's not even the reason. It's on some like oh. every this time you bit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> every time I um Pizza. Don't take your ass out. I ain't never made no diss track for real, nigga. And seeing that and like, seeing that drop, yeah. you got a hit, baby. <laughs> It's like every time I even like making music is a love language for me. You feel me? So every time I felt like I was rocking with a girl enough to make a music, make a song for her or something like that, that shit fell out. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that. I don't know what that That's was like. What that was, but like you know what I'm saying, it felt like every time I like put a little too much of it into Damn. the universe, it just. You know, That's real shit. That's almost like how real relationship go to it. I, I'll speak from my perspective. When you basically like in a little bit more than Shawty is. Feel like you're doing more too? That's when you actually lose your head. A little bit. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Depend on uh, you know, depend on the timing. Yeah. It's depend crazy that you said. I want to ask y'all if y'all agree with this. So I seen a post on uh, Instagram. It was, I actually seen it today, right? I can't remember who it was. It was a celebrity that said this, but he was like, um, quick, real quick, quick. I want to since it's on camera and it's gonna last. Yeah, I want to go ahead and say that. that's not gonna last. Man. Like that, that shit ain't gonna always happen. Every time I make a song about a woman, it's not gonna fall apart. I'm gonna take that <laughs> right. Out. You feel me? Exactly. Right. There will be more in the yeah, future. Exactly. Right. <laughs> like, but like, as of right now. Yeah. <laughs> right. But um, so um, the, the dude was pretty much saying like um, um, with, with men, right? Mm -hmm. it, there, it's harder for them to fall in love um, because of the fact that matter like when we actually get to a point. Of uh, like loving a woman and wanting to trust that woman, put that trust into that woman. Mm -hmm. Like we're the we're the type we put it all. So when so when it doesn't go the way we want it to, or it doesn't go, or the relationship doesn't go right, yeah. something goes wrong. Men are more devastated and heartbroken over the situation than a woman would be. And and the reason he was saying that also because he was like, look at women. Women get heartbroken all the time. And everything, but they bounce back, bounce back. But he's like, how many times have you seen a man, a man that really like gave his all to a woman? Like I was really just all for her. I wouldn't, I went out here in these streets. I wouldn't think about none of these other bitches, none of this shit. I'm just really just focused on this one chick, trying to make out my life with her. And then she turned around and just do some fuck shit to you, like. I mean, I mean, they, they bounce back from that is what you're saying. Like, he, he, like, he was saying, he was saying, he not, not. Matter of fact, I just remember. I think that was Corey Miller. Uh, uh, not Corey Miller. His name Corey Miller. Uh, Carlos. Talk about Corey Miller. I said Carlos uh, <laughs> from uh, 85 South. Yeah. Uh, he Carlos was. Miller, yeah. yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, he was. He said uh, he was the one who was saying it. But he was like, if you if you really look at it, most men don't bounce back. It's like it takes them a long time, and a lot of times when that do happen. That do happen, it, it turns us even darker. Some like, things can't even bounce back from their own mistakes. Exactly. Like if I'm, you if you went, my, you go ahead, bro. No, oh, no, all right, no, no, cool. So like if you was uh, shit, if you was like you know in love, not knowing how to be in love, and you would make you wouldn't make mistakes and hurt somebody that you ain't want to hurt. Then bouncing back from that is difficult too. Especially That's true. If you really care. That's you true. Don't always go through the process of like how you could be, how you could have been better mm -hmm. the whole time. It's the thing that you got to remember when you're going through that process is like that other person wasn't perfect either. Yeah. Tell me what y'all think about just theory. It's my theory. Going off what you talked about with Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because you, you love making me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 this nigga ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga crazy. So, right. Man, I just got into that nigga. I was <laughs> right, man. He's not even doing it all his life. <laughs> <laughs> but. I think going back to that question of, you know what I'm saying, that situation is, I think it goes to anatomy and science uh -huh. and biology. I mean. Women are emotional creatures. They're nurturers. Yeah. Men, men are more providers. I'm not going to say all men. I'm not right. going to say but, you know, some, most, whatever. Generically. I think, I think when, a, when a man basically gets to that point where he lets a barrier down and puts that extra emotion out, yeah. it's, it's, a new, it's, it's a new physiology for him. 
Oh, for sure. So when he gets to that point where he can actually let a little trust go, let a little vulnerability, vulnerability I said it wrong, but vulnerability go, yeah. and basically put a little bit more, put a little bit more all into it, and that shit get cut, Man. That's, a, that's mental that you really don't go to. Yeah, no, so when that he was saying, like mom, yeah. Like, yeah. Niggas do crazy shit when they really get hurt, bro. So yeah. You want to make a nigga cold? Do some shit like that. Why? But that, yeah, but that pretty much yeah. like he, he, he was that's saying that. Was, I like I gave, gave y'all a little spin though, but he was pretty much saying that though. That bounce back takes a long time. Yeah, because because like you, there's there's a my bad. Nah, you good. <laughs> you good. <laughs> like, don't hold, don't hold back. Don't hold. All right, what this, this is for. When it comes to uh, when it comes to shit like that, bro, it's like there's a way. There's multiple ways for niggas to to respond to that. You know, certain certain dudes go out there and try to find love and. Every every other relationship after that, like oh, they, they go try to make every girl that girl. So right, those girls yeah, never that. see it. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a process in which like the mind goes through, and where you can either go looking for somebody that that wants to heal your heart, or you gonna heal your heart. You gonna heal your heart yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's for uh, ladies, man. We gotta put that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you I like, like you, you gonna go through that, or you gonna heal your heart yourself. And, uh, a lot of times when you're going through that, you gonna you don't do a lot of things that, that you wasn't really, you never seen for yourself. You right. know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, uh, that, could, that could be a problematic problematic thing for you moving forward because it makes it hard for you to ever look at a woman the same because then, I don't know, I don't know about I'm y'all, but shit, I done been on both sides. Like, you know, mm. I've been on both sides of it where I was doing that was fucking up and I have been with a bitch that was doing dirty, you feel me? So, right. So it's like, when you done seen, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I didn't mess with women that was doing, that was right. doing dirt. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I ain't gonna say no names or nothing, but I remember I was laid over this girl. This nigga was calling her phone and shit. I'm like, Damn, Keisha, what you? Yeah, you know what I'm, saying? I was like, I'm like, you gonna answer? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you might need to answer that shit. That nigga gonna beat your ass. Like, like <laughs> real, real. But I went through a lot of karma for doing shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I got hurt because I was doing goofy shit like that. I feel like. Niggas, it's cool. It's cool when it's when it's not you. you feel right. Me? But when that universe will come yeah, back. Yeah, man. It will come back. So this nigga, fuck yours. It's like, ooh, shit. Yeah. You can't even sit. You know what I'm saying? You you sleep this shit, thinking about it, like, oh no, like. <laughs> 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 I want to switch up a little bit. Yeah, it was. I mean, I was like talking about Talk it. about your entrepreneurship. I, I, sure, I see right now you got the, the clean, the clean kicks yeah. on right now. These is B Teddy, man. You got the hey. blue bottoms on them. I call them best to ever do it. Hey, uh, first, that's what you know. what I'm saying everybody said they're the goat, so I wanted to throw my own shit out there. Right, B Teddy, best to ever do it. Okay, uh, not too many people got their own shoe. Right. So I wanted to design my own shit. We got a clothing brand. You know what I'm saying? That's like more so my mom and pop shit. I'm working on my own. Um, but it's the family thing, so I'm still building it up with them. Right. So ways out of pearl. Ways out of pearl. You know what I'm saying? We work, yeah, we're working out. Y'all better tap in. We're getting, it up, we're getting it all up and running right now. We got that website here soon. Okay. Uh, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I got three shoes out right now. Okay. Three shoes out right now. I got these. These are B-Teddy. I got another one called Marty. We got the zebra print on Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's Marty from Madagascar. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they got the zebra print on them. Uh, I wore those last time you see me. Yeah. Uh, and then I got these other ones called Feel Me. It's like multiple colors on it. It's got multiple, uh, multiple uh, what's it called, textures on it. Like you got suede, you got leather, and then you got like a, like a flimsier leather, like a vegan leather. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And, um, hold on, vegan suede. I don't know. I can't remember. I was just designing it. <laughs> so what what are these shoes going for? That's what, you know, everybody wants. That's, that's, that's what people want to really know. <laughs> ticket what the ticket on the shoe, man? They, they come from Italy, bro. So like, okay. You know what I'm these is really designer kicks. Okay. Yeah, so you're gonna have to pay some money for this. Black two fit in Italy. Type All right. Shit. Yeah, for real. Though, <laughs> for real. Yeah. Yeah, for, but for mine, I had to pay three bands. Mm. I'm fucking around. I'm about to say, damn. I just want to see y'all. Damn. I want to see y'all's reaction. Like, what? I, I, had three, I had to pay three hundred for real though. Okay. Pay, okay. <laughs> I was like, three bands? Oh, three shit. bands, shit. Yeah, <laughs> Can I buy a shoestring, hey, nigga? No, <laughs> How much the shoestrings, nigga? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, yeah. 
Hey, yo, but speaking of three, speaking of three bands, man, right now I'm selling Frenchies, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If okay. Wanna, if somebody wanna buy a Frenchie, man, I got three puppies, bro. Two of them for real, keeping one of them she dope. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, breeding? Hey, you just trying to get off of them? We breeding. Yeah, okay. we getting we getting started on this. Uh, this is our first time breeding Frenchies, though. We ain't really, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't really been. No, I want Kane Corso. Kane Corso. I, I wanted one of those when I was younger. We was we had this we got breed one the call the uh, TV show and shit. Called uh, Band Big Dog. Big ass dog, too. Yeah, we had, had this breed called Band Dog. We were with uh, American Bulldogs. And that's what we really used to breed back when, you know, back when I was younger, but went through some life shit. I mean, uh, and we really stopped doing it back in like 2015. But getting back on it, and these dogs is really dope, bro. Like, my, my pops is a scientist with this shit. Like, he's one of the best dog breeders in Colorado history, for real. Mm. Like, motherfuckers still call him to this day. Why you make a song about dog breed, man? Like, song about dog breed? Yeah. If I do that, it's gonna sound like some pimp shit. Hey, man, why not, man? You never know, bro. You never know. You might even, somebody might hit you for a bunch of shit for a two. Like, you know how Yeah, bro. I be telling everybody, I'm like, cool dog breed, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 Living and working for myself, and like I started thinking, like man, it's so much things, so many ways out here to use what you use, what you're doing, to use something else as well too. Yes. And I think, and, and I am not talking about you. I'm just saying, I think some people no, don't. No, no. I think some people don't know that. Like they don't, they don't think that. Like yo, you can literally take whatever you're doing and co- incorporate it to any other thing too. See, that's a problem for me sometimes. Why? Well, because. because I know I'm so good at all these different things, but I know you gotta lock in on one to right. really be able to make That's my those. issue. Yeah, you got yeah, so many yeah, things, you know hands saying? and every goddamn yeah. thing, it's hard to lock in on one. I just was telling my brother this, I said like, it's cool being a jack of all trades, but shit, if you ain't able to make none of them go, then you really just a jack. I'm gonna preach, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm that's true. So like, I, like, I know like, I write good. I write, I can make good music, I can make movies, I can like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm good at like I'm good at designing clothes. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just I was good at football, bro. Everything I anything I'm anything I touch, I'm good at it. Right. It's just about the dedication to be able to focus on one thing. Right now that's what I'm focusing on music for because I feel like this is like you know what I'm saying, like it's just certain things you ain't supposed to play with. You know what I mean? I feel like I was blessed with the ability to be able to make make good ass music, bro. So I gotta take it as serious as possible. Random. You know what right now. What's your sign? I'm a Libra. Oh, what you got? For me? What you nah, got? I was just, I was just, because the create, because most of us are Pisces. But I, but I, I'm, I'm, a Vir, I'm a Virgo Libra first. Gotcha. So, like, I'm uh, I just about to say no D to go here. Huh? I just about to say no D to go here. No D. To what? The nigga asked you about your sign. <laughs> man, come on, man. Nigga, what? <laughs> yeah, nigga, it's crazy. What's your sign? Nigga. <laughs> That's how you know the nigga ain't spiritually yeah. tapped in, Yo, bro. I ain't gonna do yeah. bro like that. He yeah. like yeah. in. He yeah. like in. Yeah. Me? me and Brody had a couple conversations. He like in, yeah, but shit. Yeah. You know, that, was, that was funny, though. I ain't gonna yeah. do that. Yeah, but no, nah, um, yeah, but back nah. at the same time, though, like, but this is creating. What, what made you ask that, though? Because, like, I was eating, cool, and me, we all Pisces, but, like, okay. but I do know in the, in the Pisces realm, like, that. That's one of our main traits is we create the creative, yeah. being creative. And then, I, and I asked you that because a lot of that came to my mind, like that's how I am, got my hands in so many different things. And sometimes it's hard to just I gotta lock down on one. So I was just curious off yeah, that. True, one of, the, one, of the, uh, one of the valuable people in my life is a Pisces, man. He, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, we got a lot of similarities in terms of, in terms of like, Tapped in, like being tapped in, like you know what I'm saying. He gave he gave me books and shit to read, like you know what I'm okay. saying. He, yeah, man, it's just intellectual intellectual being. I yeah. when it's, when it comes to me swapping knowledge with somebody, I like I definitely like talking to him about that shit. You know what I mean? He always since I met him, he was like he was my baseball coach when I was you know, okay. Uh, since I met him, man, he, yeah, it's, uh, but now he's dog breed partner. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But he just but he always seen like the, the good. Like he always seen I was different. So y'all be fucking stupid. Yeah, that's solid, man. Uh, All right, so a couple random questions. Two, matter of fact. I got to do one more thing, though. Man, look. Look. Libras. And the Libras, oh, is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, run, we run this shit right now in time. Like, huh? when it comes to music, we, we going crazy. You know what I'm saying? You got... Dwayne? Got, got, got 21 Savage. 21. Got, 
Free dirt. <laughs> man, free dirt. Man. Yeah, free dirt, man. That's some bullshit. Niggas is rats. Uh, but you got shit. Young boy, you know what I'm saying? That's just like, then you got Wayne, you got Jeezy, you got uh, T.I., you know what I'm saying? When, niggas is, when, when, we hit the, when we hit the market, like, motherfuckers, they, they see it's us. So it's like, you got Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking about what? Fuck you talking about? Call, we got Shaq. And we got Bow Wow, oh, nigga. Elijah Wong, hey, you talking about? Talking about Bow Wow. Ah. That nigga said Bow Wow. Hey, you talking about, what? Bow wow. Bow wow. Hey, you talking about what? But and you know, and but Trina, you know brought, too, nigga. You know who brought Bow Wow out for real? A nigga uh, that shared the same birthday as me, Jermaine. Jermaine, Jermaine yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then he spent more time with Snoop Dogg, another Libra. Hey, bro, we like, we ain't going to go there, though. Yeah, hey, just, we ain't going to get off the Zodiac cool, shit. Cool, like, <laughs> nah, but I, I do, but I do want to get into, you know, it's rapping. We talk about hip-hop and everything. So I got, yeah. I got, I want to ask another question that we normally ask here, man. What's so who, who is your top five, man? Who is your top, top five? five? Man, you know, I, I'm glad I get to do this again. So I said some bullshit last time. Uh-oh. I, I said some shit that was really just like watered down for the, you know what I'm saying, for the market. Uh, it was just like safe answers. But my top five, man, is it's it's always, it's difficult to answer questions like this because I, I respect so many people like in their game. Like right. I was inspired by so many different people, you feel me? So I'll, what I'll do, I'll throw out like people who, uh, who inspire me. I'll okay. say DJ Quick. Okay. Come on, man. Uh, like Damn. Yeah. Mac, Mac Dre. Okay, Mac Dre. I, I like how they was. I like how they were free on the beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like when they they talking them, but like they just they really spend some game to you. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, obviously you got throw Wayne in there because shit Wayne and had, uh, then say right. say shit that make you still look at it like wait a minute, you know, yeah, you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, shit, I like DMX. I like Tupac. That's five, but like I yeah. want to keep going, bro. I, like, keep going, man. Like, right, like, come on. I like I like three stacks, man. Okay. Uh, shit, I grew up on No Limit. Uh. Yeah, I listen to Pimp C and them. <laughs> you know, like I, who gonna be up there one day? Sauce Walker for real. Sauce Walker be spit. I hear, I hear that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He be, yeah, he be saying some shit. Bro. Yeah, for sure. I fuck with, I fuck with bro tough. I'm gonna have to listen to him. I ain't never heard yeah, him. He tough, Texas. Bro. Yeah. yeah. But I I gotta say. Another person that inspired me too, like when I'm really turned up and like going crazy on the beat, and, I don't, and I'm just gassing that bitch. Young Pappy, bro, Young Pappy from Chirac, man, he's going okay. crazy. Like, as he, if he would have been able to, you know, what I'm saying his story tragic, bro. But if he would have been able to survive that shit, he would have really. I feel like he would have been one of the ones that could have translated over from the drill scene to now in similar fashion as Dirk did. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah. I hate to see people go too, bro. It's yeah, a lot of people going. It happens a lot in this business, unfortunately. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hopefully, I still got a hundred years. <laughs> my other, my <laughs> other question, right? So, yeah. Um, you get you watch any battle rap? You get into battle rap? Uh clips here and there. Clips. I don't really, I don't really get too too invested in like. Okay, that. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you. You got some some favorite battle rappers that you go to, you listen to, or watch? Uh, uh man, it's this one name. I think his name Chess. Maybe. Chess. Okay. That's that's dark skin dude, right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, dude. From, he did the shit with the batteries and he dropped that like. Yeah. He, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when him and Rock. You know, yeah. That was guns and like all case. Yeah. He tight. He tight. I fuck yeah. with him. Chess. That's that's probably the main one for real. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least you know Chess because Chess definitely one of the ones. Uh, yeah. Definitely, especially if chefs come all the way together, man. Yeah. Chess, Chess come together. And he's ready. Yeah. But that nigga, he probably definitely like one of the top battles out there. He when he come together. So I, I respect that. Um, you got any any more questions before we get about it? Yo, we spoke about top artists that you like. We're talking to ladies right now, man. So throw out the top lady artists that you like. Yeah, or female artists. Of all time? Or right now? Your list. Your yeah, list. Just your list. And your list. Your list. The best albums, because she said Sade. So I'm, I'm rocking with you on this. That's tough. Sweet. Best, like, album in terms of, like, the Al- yeah. albums that you rock with. Okay. You start with the artist first, then go to the artist. Okay, uh, the artists. Female. Mm, female artists. Shit. Only. For the ladies. Queen Latifah go crazy. Queen. Okay. I like Queen Latifah, man. Erica Badu. Okay, Erica. Um, Erica's a good choice. Is she a rapper? It don't gotta be rapper, just yeah. artist. We okay. talking about artists. Cool. Soul. She's okay. Yeah, Sade go crazy. Sade, okay. Uh, man. That's, that's a little tough, I ain't gonna lie. Mary J. Mary, Mary okay. J. I got, me, I got me thinking about what I was riding in the whip, listening to my mom. Shout out, Mary J. I'm glad you, I'm glad you got killed, baby, but they had to kill your ass. 
on the show. Right. She died on power. Right. Monet. Look, look. Oh, my bad. Monet. They had to kill your name, Monet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Spoiler alert. Mary, 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 Mary died? Who the fuck killed Mary J? Nah. Nah. Nick, hey, your ass all over in there. Cool you on that line. Talk about Mary J. Dead. Oh, line. Yeah. Uh, uh, damn. You know, Eve type. Eve type. Uh, real right. kill type. Uh, Man, shit, it's been a, it's been a few women that really just. I'm throwing real out like, like you, you definitely like. Lower trees type. You you a you didn't say my girl though. Mm. Lauren. I didn't say Lauren. She Lauren. she, you know I was about to, and I'm not gonna disrespect Lauren because she dope as fuck. But <clears throat> I read something that said she survived on that one album. It made me look at her Damn. completely different. I, I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> Damn. Not because I'm gonna be quiet. And that's no disrespect because I love Lauren, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she always about you always throw Lauren on, you know what I'm saying? And she's still doing it to this day. You know she told She a legend. She a legend in this shit. But she can't be on my list right now. Ooh. And that's no you know, that's no disrespect. Nah, I agree with that one hundred percent. That's real. Right? And it's, it ain't no disrespect, but at the same time, like um, that's why I was being quiet in the first place. Like Lauren really only gave us one album, and then on top of that, even after that one album, just being one hundred percent real, but Lauren don't sound nothing like Lauren used to, at all. Nah, I, I the voice the ain't there. The, 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 but I do, I do get the spiritual connection that she do when she do a little a live shows and everything. I get that, but as far as a uh, uh, artist, I can't, I can't put her up there. <laughs> But you know, we don't know what people go through behind the scenes to where, true. To where she was only able to drop one album. But that's did. why I'm not judging she as did. a person. I'm just no, saying, as an artist, as an artist, I just can't put you up there with everybody else. Like, I don't mean change like all the way from the women, but you know, somebody I did shout out with Wu. Wu Tang inspired me. Wu Tang, well. yeah. yeah. You watch the show? I did. I did. Okay. I, I got to, I think I got halfway through the first season, but I got to go back and finish watching. That shit, that shit was solid, bro. Yeah, it was. I found myself. Like, you know, me being the person that I am, like trying to make all these different types of music, I felt like I was able to channel each version, each each member of the Woo when I wanted to rap on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That was like, they they some of the greatest ever, so why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not try to try to channel all that? But I don't mean to change it from the women. Uh, nah. Shoot, we can go to today. Well, really just dropped a fire ass Come album. Come on. She just dropped a Come fire on, album. Bro. Look, I remember sure. last time I seen the thing, he was like, it's 7 p.m. Friday. Look, yeah. I was like, that shit cool until the show girl singing it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They right. like, yeah, it's 7 p.m. Friday. Then she like, I ain't got no nigga. Wait a minute, man. What are you talking about? I ain't got no big. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Show yeah. Up. <laughs> that was she pretty much said, though, the song. Right. I ain't got no nigga. Ain't no nigga got me. Yeah. Yeah. You see, she just, she just had all of them scared. Nah, it's a, that's that was fake. That was for, like, TV or some shit. Oh. She had all the, all the hot girls scared. No! <laughs> you just said it was 95 degrees. You ain't had no nigga. That was it. What happened to that? Right. Yeah. But Glo, uh, yeah. I, I, I like Glo. Um, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't mention Cardi, too. Lotto. Too. Um, yeah. Like Cardi Crew. I, I think um, Lotto album dope too, though. I ain't, I ain't heard, heard of that much. Yeah, I heard that, man. But she, she takes I'm from the South Side. I'm from Playco, so I. I, I, I I had to. Like his I respect you. I respect. I respect Lotto. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like she's not one that's. She's not one that's. I don't care about none of that shit. Cool. That shit don't bother me. <laughs> the hell yeah! I don't care. Damn right, I'm a bumping the fuck out. Matter of fact, I was bumping her album on the way here. Actually, she not one of them. I like all the ones that's able to survive off of their music and not just their looks. <laughs> you a hater. <laughs> 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 I <didn't say> that. <laughs> Nigga, I know you. You fucking hater, nigga. What are you talking about, bro? Like, nah, I'm reading your mind, nigga. Yeah, I know exactly you up, exactly you up that you nigga. You up there on that bullshit. Yeah. yeah. On the camera, I don't know what the fuck going yeah. on. I know what the fuck you going see, on. You seen the captions, you know, in the books. When yeah. Like, that shit got the cloud going. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I see all that yeah. shit, nigga. I know how that out, too, bro. <laughs> so, so, bro, what's, what's all this for King Sam, man? What we got? What we, what you ain't got a project stick, dropping in December. Yeah, I got another project coming in December. Uh, it's going to be another EP. It's going to be... I'm going to try to do four songs. You know? Okay. I might do... I might really... You do visuals? I got to get on that. Come on, that. man. You gotta get it's, not, it's not that I... Not, not that I don't want to. Like, I want to. I just... The way I see them, 
motherfuckers is kind of charging me out the ass for it right now. Got it's you. just like, I, I'm not about to do that right now. I'd rather just put out the music and then keep on building buzz like that until I'm able to put, it's, do my know, own bro, shit. Bro, one thing I'm going to say, bro, I, mm -hmm. I learned, especially about this whole social media thing, the more and more I get into it, man, all you got to do is find somebody, your homeboy or somebody like, yo, just record me a couple scenes, whatever, whatever, and take that shit home, edit it yourself, and boom. You want to know something funny? Outside of, like, outside of my little cousin, like, y'all, I done spent more time with y'all niggas than I have anybody else out Man. here. So, I'm, I'm really by myself in this shit, word. Like, I'm figuring it well, out all, all by my lonesome. Like, you know well, saying? shit. Say, hey, word. That's the thing. Bro, record me real quick, bro. Boom. Yeah. I think that, like, like how I was telling you when I see him, I, I see like it's some movie shit, bro. That's the thing, like you know what I'm saying, I can put I can put out the music and then double back with the visuals. Like people gonna always respect that when it comes. You know what I'm saying? Like I, obviously it help me it help me grow more and if I have more visuals, you know. So I, I gotta just work on putting together content yeah. rather than actual videos for the for the craft, like for the art right now. You know what I'm right. saying? I would, so like my main thing right now is learning how to. Put out the good, put out content for people to want to listen to it. You know, because everybody that listens to it, they like it. That's that's the issue right now. Is just getting people to listen. Right. There's so much shit on social media all day, and then it's like so many different people making music. So yeah. if you're not listening to some popular shit like that, like it's very hard for. Well, like, bro, just to say you gonna make some different shit. Women in Peru coming soon, but I'm featuring Yeah, that's that boy got that word, but y'all gonna see okay. it. Bro. Like, hey, okay. Okay. if y'all yeah. wanna. Uh, Y'all want to record some like interview shit for it? That would be tight. Cool. Really, that's, that's what I'm dropping in December. I'm gonna really. drop, be dropping a song called Blurless, which I was hoping to do a, a, a drop mic for today. But I don't okay. know if I'm gonna do it. I don't know if it, that's gonna happen. Or not, but I'm gonna do that. Happen. I bet. Yeah, I want to do it right there by Ray Charles. Okay. Do it. Yeah. Uh, Blurless, Over from Peru, the Rose Gold. Rose Gold is like. Uh, it's real, like that whole shit real hip hop. Like that, whole, that whole EP is hip hop. So I don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna name it just yet. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's, man, it's all different, bro. I, like I told you last time, simply not simple. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, my, that's me in, in a nutshell. Simply not simple. Like, yeah, yeah. You need to put that on the shirt. Yeah. Put that on the next pair of shoes. Put on the next pair of shoes? Yeah. Sure, that, that might just be the brand. I ain't gonna catch it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey. That's so hard. Yeah. Yeah, man, right here on Rap yeah. Analytics, man. Don't try to, we got to record it, so you can't take that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Thank you to Rap Analytics. They ever since I met them, ever since I've been, you know, been on the scene out here, that's who I ran into for my very first show out here. Yeah. I ran into Worthy and Nino, you know what I'm saying? Since then, I just since then we've been locked in, bro. Yeah. That's a, still locked in. Yeah, you know, it's a um, it's something that I appreciate because a lot of people, like I was saying, from Colorado, they don't really be fucking with me like that, you know. So when I come out here and I got these dudes that never met me. Don't know shit about me for real besides what I tell them in the music. Right. Like, they fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want to say like, thank you, bro. I appreciate you for real. No problem, you know bro. What I'm saying thank you. The music uh, speaks, bro. So yeah, that's, that's, that's all it is. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, but <clears throat> if you're not supporting me, if you're not supporting me, I want to say fuck you. Uh, I got to put, that, on, I gotta put right. that out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because, because don't try to come back when this shit's taken off. I want to look straight at the camera. Please right. don't. You know, I'm gonna, like nigga, like you know what I'm saying. I, I might sock you, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I don't do that, man. Nah, fuck I, the money. Nah, no, fuck we, nah, we, we, no, we jump back, jump back, jump back home. We hot. We, I need, we need the money over here. I'm bro. smart, bro. We gonna sign consensual forms. We gonna go to a boxing ring or something. We gonna go ahead and make that happen. But like, really, like I'm just, I'm just tired of people acting like they love me, but they ain't doing the shit to help me get to where they see I'm trying to go. You know All what I'm right. saying? So. That's the main thing for me right now. If you're supporting me, thank you. I appreciate you. If you're not, and but you're around me every day, or you you somebody that say you love me and consider me family, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you kiss my ass, bro. Like, people only call me when they need me. You know what I'm saying? And 
and yeah. like yeah. even if I ain't got it, I'm making sure they able to get it regardless. I'm able, I'm gonna find somebody. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna maneuver to make sure you get what you need. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I was raised. This is on my heart. Like I gotta make sure you straight, cause like who who right. we are. Right. So like, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that's my thing. Really. Just keep supporting me. I got a lot coming. Uh, it's gonna be. I'm, I'm a big deal, and I'm gonna keep showing I'm a big deal. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit. yeah, that's what we on. King, oh. King Savvy Worldwide. Thank you. Give it up for King Savvy, man. <laughs> Give it up for him, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Again, you, man. appreciate you coming on the show. We all see yeah. nothing but love over here, bro. If you need anything from us, just let us know, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, we're we going to definitely have him back on the show. You know, it, this ain't the first time or the last time. You know what I mean? So we definitely going to have him around. Um, also, man, just for everybody, make sure y'all tap in, man. November 24th. <clears throat> November 24th, Presidential Worthy Karaoke Night is going down. I still have one more slot open for a headline artist, man. One more slot open, so if y'all want that slot, definitely tap in. Outside of that, man, come on, pull up with me. Y'all know I like to sing. Y'all know I like to sing, bro. Yeah. So, like, come on out, party with me, have fun. Uh, even if you ain't coming out to perform or whatever, or don't even want to come out and do karaoke, just come out and watch some other people go crazy. I mean, you might even see me go crazy on the mic a couple of songs. So definitely tap in with us, man. It's going down November 24th. That's a Sunday. The parking is free and everything. There's drinks there. There's hookahs there. There's, there's bars, food there and everything. It is a $20 entrance to get in there. But outside of that, it's going to be fun, man. Come on out. Yeah. Come on out. Turn up with us, man. We'll get lit. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, outside of that, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe and leave us a comment, man. Even tell us what you feel about Check King Savvy, man. How you? Check out NASCAR Love while you Yo, at home. come on. For real, NASCAR bro. Love, it's going man. crazy. Well, check out NASCAR Love with me in the room. Okay. Fly with you. Yo. NASCAR Love, fly with you. Here's my heart. Yo. So bonus check off the phone. And that's what's going crazy right now. Yeah, you go, and then go look. Go check out <laughs> Nikolai, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Niklaus, yeah. yeah. I'm about to add Niklaus. Go check out Niklaus, bro. That shit. catalog. Catalog been speaking for itself since the beginning, man. So, yeah, we go ahead and talk about that. Yes, sir, what man. What you got? I know you got something. Hey, man. Hope you ain't got nothing. For, for, <laughs> no. for the people who've been rocking with us, yeah. you know what it is. But if you don't know, you about to find out, man. It's cool to be Mr. March 4th, King Savvy, the building. Thank you, bro. Yeah. It's been another great Friday, another great topic, another great conversation with him, man. This is you, man. Hey, win all types of different places. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. That's what it's supposed to. Yeah. 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 Sure. 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 Hey, man. Y'all come check us out, man. On Rap and Lips, on everything, man. Cool to be on everything, man. Man, you yeah, already know, man. We up out of here. Baby campaign president to work to put that vote in for me. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. It's March 4th, bitch. <clears throat> Slow your roll, Pimpin'. <laughs> Savvy. Huh. To the bases like I'm Coley P, but see, ain't nothing basic about this lonely king. I feel like big shit was all a dream, but when I woke up one morning, it was all I seen. My vision no longer blurry, no longer cloudy. I see everything I want, promise I won't leave without it. Making moves, I'm on their necks from Denver way out to Cali, from Cali on down to Georgia, from Georgia over to Dallas, from Dallas to Iowa. And I ain't trippin' if this music just doesn't excite you This just some shit I had to get off the chest of my idol Stuck in them trenches, already knowing your heart on survival Come from the same, hopefully one day you'll see we ain't rivals I pray for all y'all, hopefully when you think of me you wish more than a downfall Life ain't gotta be a gun, my nigga just treat it like a butter knife And spread some love, my nigga, and I could ball with you That was the best take I've been going hard, staying out the way I'm gonna get everything I paid for one day Only moving with a plan I'm no longer a boy, I'm a whole man uh, Constantly growing, working on myself I want results, so I've been changing Compromising bad habits Choosing life with less stress And it's been fantastic Gotta get my scales aligned don't know the answers all the time, huh? But I ain't tripping, no, it's fine. Meditate to ease my mind. Trying to focus on the moment. It'll hit me when.
when it's time Sometimes pressing make you blind And I've been stuck off in my grind Man, I've been stuck off in my grind Feel like Emmys, man I've been stuck off in my grind But it's gonna be fine It's gonna work out Real shit, man All this work I'm putting in All this time and dedication, man It's gonna work It's gonna go pretty boy Yeah. <laughs>